Stairs of the motor car back to the harbor. This is what gives the statue its great stability. It's very flexible. In fact, the plane moves as much as five inches in a heavy gust of wind, and it's the flexibility that gives the statue its great stability. written by a young New Yorker named Emma Lazarus. It's called The New Colossus. It's inscribed at the base of the statue. Part of the poem reads like this. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Cindy's, the homeless, head is tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. This describes a great ideal that's difficult to live up to, and that's why we have the poem and the statue here to remind us of the promise of America, liberty, and lightning. The world it was unveiled October 28, 1886, just three years after the Brooklyn Bridge. Liberty trains, as the phrase went, all points west, all points west into and across the west, and the very fact was as the building to the first day in the American experience for billions of freshly minted immigrants over the years, all points west. Situation. Besides, only skip. They are very unfortunate. 